To begin with, the first piece of software we mainly used was Blogger. The reason for this was because it was very easy to communicate with each other, to set up de dates, to meet, and it was just helpful so that everyone could see the work we were doing. The next piece of software that we used was Celtex. Uh, Celtex meant we could put together a script, but also it helped with the layout of it so that we could put together the actions that people had to do with the way the cameras were going to move and what the actors were going to say. I used SketchUp to show what I wanted to see in the actual scene when we got around to filming it. Um, as I couldn't be in two places at once, acting and directing the cameraman, I decided to use SketchUp to just show what I wanted, the different camera angles and the different shots that we needed to see. Once we had started production properly, we decided it was important to get the word out that we were making a film, so we made both the Facebook pages and the Twitter pages. We noticed that most films had both Twitter and Facebook pages just to get the word out um, that they're making a film. Uh, so we decided to get the word out sooner rather than later. We also designed and developed a website um, that's now on air. Uh, the reason for this is because all films we noticed had websites specifically for themselves. Um, just to get word out even past the point of Facebook and Twitter. Now the main two pieces of software we used were After Effects, which is seen on the left here, and Photoshop, which is seen on the right. Um, After Effects was our main editing software, as it has many capabilities to do different things. Uh, we used Photoshop mainly for PNA, such as um, photographs and also posters that we created. We also um, used it to design our main web page and um, below this video clip you can see the finished um, design for the web page. The last piece of software we used was Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling software that's used to create CGI images. We used this because there were very difficult shots to get that we couldn't quite create with a camera or the equipment we had. So instead we decided the easiest way to go around it was to create a 3D model um, and then to artificially move a camera through the second story window.